Another key editing concept is that of zero crossings. If you remember from our other discussion that this line that runs through the middle of an audio waveform representation represents zero pressure. Above the line is positive pressure, below the line is negative pressure. So whenever you make an edit, it's important to make that edit at a place where the waveform crosses this zero line in order to avoid clipping and popping. So as an example, blue cheese crumbles. Let's take a look closer here. So I have blue, 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 blue. Notice at the end of the section, there's a little pop. Blue, 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 blue. And if we zoom in even closer, we can see where that edit ends. So the edit ends at a point in the waveform that is not on the zero line, so it creates that pop. Blue, blue, blue. If, however, we move the edit point to right where it crosses the zero line, for instance, right here, we should get a cleaner sound. Blue, 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 blue. Or here. Blue, 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 blue. Notice, however, this is a zero crossing as well, but the curve is a bit steeper, and so it's that steepness of the curve that creates the pop. So even though it's at a zero crossing, it's still uh, a bit more punchy at the end bloop, bloop, than if I edit at a point that's a uh, less steep slant.